Hey everybody, Bob from RetroRGB here, and I just want to do a quick video that shows the difference between a cheap $6 cable that you get off of eBay and a high quality shielded cable that you get from a reputable RGB SCART cable seller. Now this video is kind of going to just skip to the end and show you what happens, but I will have a follow-up video very, very soon that explains the differences as to why these cables act the way they do. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you what happens. First, I want to start with the best case scenario. When you have a fully shielded cable that's wired to the exact specs of your console and uses the best configuration possible. I'm not going to go into details on what all of those are in this video, but first just take a look at the first level in Super Mario World. And you can see the background is crystal clear, there's no interference, and please remember there's YouTube compression and stuff, so if you do see some artifacts, it's not because of the capture, it's just because of YouTube. So this looks absolutely great. Now I'm just going to play the quick intro to a Konami game because it's white screen will cause the most potential interference. So just take a quick listen and then pay close attention. Okay, now let's do the same exact tests using that $6 cable I got off of eBay. So, you know, I very often have heard people say, oh, I, you know, why should I spend all that extra money on cables? First of all, let's check out the Super Mario World, that same level and that same exact area. Now even with YouTube compression, there's no way you could miss all of that checkerboarding weird interference in the screen. And that's because uh, of zero shielding on the cable allows interference from other lines. So that alone is pretty bad, but now check out what happens for that same audio intro. So hopefully that's a pretty good audio and visual demonstration of why you really want to spend the money on good cables. So if you don't care anymore, you just want to go and make sure to get the best possible cables for your console, head to my site and then just check out each individual console page. It has the links to the best ones up there. But if you guys want to know more as to why these different cables are different and maybe even a way to improve upon this little crappy $6 cable, please check out part two of the video. And also, as always, thanks so much to my Patreons. If you guys like this, consider donating yourself, and I'll see you next time.